Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you.
this is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been on YouTube now for 15 years and I've been doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew. So I had to feel 100% about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now, what's the point of a toilet additive? Well, when you use the toilet, then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now, uh, if you just urinate into it, then there should be no problem. But if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies, and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Or there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works just that it works just as well. So it's uh, ecological. What it's got inside are natural soaps. It's got natural citric acid. It's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts, and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet, I should say. And when you come to a dump station, you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well, I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the... The, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of, sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's, it's a bit uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so sort of when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice. Uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature, I mean, there's even there's warnings that I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like, I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in the fish tank, then the fish will die. So um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now the blue stuff as well, I've noticed I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it into the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains. And it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not. But um, it's uh, with this stuff, it's, uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is 
when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time, you think, hang on, just a minute, I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way, that's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem. And um, let's have another look at it, because here it comes in two. Uh, this one, one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use. Now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know, but it's it's different. This contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now, um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now, I previously worked in the packaging industry. And indeed, I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert, but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe, I think, to use. It's not, I mean, it's often used in bag-in-the-box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and it got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here in theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the, oh, sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So, I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong, just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will uh, go out. But I, ma I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is, but uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic. It's, uh, and, uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now I do appreciate that. Um, in um, with if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although I think if you're into motorhomes, then you probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it for. Really, I think I think it's the call of nature, this contact with nature and all the rest of it. So I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I I would want to do, whether or not. I'm prepared to pay a premium. Yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it, but in all honesty, this between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link, it just tells you where to get the stuff from. Um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.